Life in the Eucharist In the presence of Christ, there is an ineffable desire in the human heart to know Him most intimately through the union found in the Eucharist. Adore the Lord in the most blessed sacrament with a faith beyond bound so that He may know of your love for Him and the confident trust you have in His mercy. He allows souls to draw life from His very body blood, soul, and divinity for further nourishment and strength in a world that continues to bombard the soul against his very mercy. He reveals his goodness during the most utter devastation of a soul and in his power stoops down to the most degraded part of our own being and creates a manifestation of his goodness to her that only fulfills with constancy his faithful promise. Lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Yes, fiat, he reveals to her of the infinite and omnipotent power of a humble God who comes to us in our misery so that we may know with a full reality of his presence in a moment when we are ever tempted to doubt his love. We become overpowered with a faith that is graced during the most darkest of moments to realize with greatness of the magnitude of union he desires for her to share in with the union of the divine and holy triune God. The glory of the saints find its very life and essence in the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. It is there that we find him who has complete fullness in the union he desires to share in the soul, inebriated by his love. Inebriated with the magnitude of his goodness in coming to us in the form of bread, so that we may consume him as food, so that we may know of the intimate union he desires for every soul who receives him. Prepare well, O oh child, for this union he wishes for you, and you will know without bound of the infinite goodness of a God who adores with humility those who too stoop down from their own self-sufficiency to only find their sufficiency in God alone. Yes, a Most High God wishes to be one with His child. The Creator of the Universe has been incarnated into the flesh of man through a union found in the mystery of the Most Blessed Sacrament of the Altar. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass brings to us the presence of Christ Himself, so that we may know of the continued promise of the Father, Lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Yes, He is with us, for those who believe without bound in a God who is invisible but ever-present in the faith of man. The very consolation of man will be evermore brought to reality in the desolation of mercy. We become a fuller realization and image of his own humility as we enter deeper into union with Christ, the Son of the living God. United with Mary, the mother of the Eucharist, we become a tabernacle of Christ and evermore know the divine fiat. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. The word became flesh. The ecumenical desire of the omnipotent God 
is that all may be one, as he is one, and therefore know of the divine union that brings forth peace. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, I come to you as your child, knowing with full confidence that you are the Mother of my God, and embrace the concerns of my heart and the trials that have enveloped me in this time. I come to you with a confident trust in my divine Savior, hidden in the humility of the Eucharist, knowing that as God is present, his mother too is there beside him. I kneel before his divine majesty, hidden yet ever present in the most intimate encounter with the triune God. I have been inebriated with divine love and embraced with the grace that comes forth from a firm faith in the living God, ever present in the Holy Eucharist. How blessed we are to be given a taste in the heavenly glory of the Mass. The Mass so consumed for love of me has been the mystery of union that is promised to those who believe with confidence in the eternity of Christ in the Eucharist. The risen and living bread of Christ is the breath and ever more living reality of goodness for those who consume him with confident trust in his mercy. He hears all that is in a heart who trusts in the maternal care of his mother. O Mother of the Incarnate Word, hidden in the Eucharist, pray for me, embrace me and show me you are my mother to those who have recourse in thee. Amen.